Okay, some investigation on the plots. The first one is plot the following function x from minus 5 to 5. So it's very easy. I can simply say x is equal to starting from minus 5. Again, if I want to generate like few numbers, in this case, I have a function. I, I, I'm going to need at least like 100 numbers. So I'm going to use lin space from minus 5, call in 5. So comma 5. So this will generate 100 numbers. Don't forget to put the semicolon here. It will like ruin your screen by putting 100 numbers there. The function y is equal to x to the power of 4. We already know that. If you say x, you have to put the dot there, right? We discussed that before. Otherwise, you won't be able to begin. We want to raise every number of it to the power of 4 plus 3 times x to the power of 3 minus 9 times uh, x to the power of 2 minus 23 times x minus 12. I'm sure you noticed my error that I forgot to put dot before this and this. Right, so before the hat, that meaning raising of power, you need to do it. For the last one, I don't need. So just to make sure I'm doing good, right now, save and run, right? We call it line by line uh, syntax scripting. So I generated actually 100 values for this, and uh, it did work. I don't know whether the numbers are right or not, but it's working. Uh, again, I can put the semicolon here. I don't need to see the Y. The question continues, add a label for x, add a label for y, title, grid on, and then uh, change the color of your curve to something other than blue, use a circular marker. So, so much stuff asks us to do, but I know I need to use plot x and y, okay, so the function is y. I'm going to call x label, okay, let's call x label x and call y label label equal to y and then the title let's call the title f x versus x it doesn't matter this is just a title and then I want to have the grid on um, that's it so there are more questions from me let's let's try this save and run I give me something from long time before even I have the hold off so I need to put a figure here right so meaning that generate a new figure There you go. This is how the function look like between minus 5 to 5. It asked me to create a circular. So I'm going to ask, comma, create a circle. Put O, right? O means circle. Then save and run. Lots of circles are going on, which is good because I have too many variables. I have a line space. I'm going to put the line space as 10. So I can see like visible market, but the resolution will be low. You don't see the curvature that what we used to do before, right? If I put here 20, for instance, you can see a little bit more. And last thing asks me to change the color other than blue. So I'm going to put like here, make it green, right? So save and run. And that's how the function look like. So this is all for problem number five. The problem number six uh, asks us plot the following function, which is g is equal to five sine uh, 100 pi t. Select the range t from zero to 0 0.2 second interval of this much. How does your plot look? Can you plot a smooth sine curve? So um, I'm looking for t. So t is equal to uh, going from 0 with the spacing of 0 
and then I have the last number as 0 0.2 this is I use the colon operator right so that's T the next one is GT so I'm gonna call this GT is equal to uh, 5 times sine of 100 times pi uh, times t okay hopefully this generate gt then i can i can plot it so i'm going to say plot t comma gt uh, again in order not to plot it in the same thing i'm going to put plot it in a new one so i'm going to put a figure here just generate a new figure and then save and run there's an error here say 100 times pi times t so it couldn't generate uh, oh I put like one two o's my bad <laughs> that's not a 100 even there you go so it's so hard to pick these errors and this actually generate this the, again the question asks us can you generate a smooth sine wave yes I can I just need to reduce the resolution here right from 0 0.005 I'm going to put another 0 here let's kill the computer and run it again yeah I create a smoother line right you can see I generated a smoother curve okay problem number 6 there are three functions given to us plot the following function x in range of 0 to uh, 0.25 to add the x label y label title grid plot in the same plot use different colors and different line style to distinguish the curve plot in separate tree in the same row in uh, the column okay let's do that so I have three different curves uh, I'm gonna call them again I have um, three curve s1 s2 s3 and x is between so I'm, the first thing I do I just say clear x because I use the x up there the new x would be equal to I start from 0 go to 2.5 I have to have like some separation so separation I'm gonna do I'm gonna say okay I have a separation of 0 0.1 at least right so to generate like some numbers you can use line space ask him to regenerate 100 numbers for you that's a different thing you can do too so s1 x is equal to exp of minus 3x minus 3 times x so I want to see whether this thing works for now before I go more okay it looks like it generate the number and then s2 x is equal to exponential of minus 5 times x and s3x is equal to exponential of minus 7x 7 times x we're good so let's save this run this so it generate s1x s2x and s3x let's put the same column here now I want to put all three of them in the same graph so I can say plot x comma s1x comma x comma s2x right comma x with respect to s3x again what you do save and run So it generates three graphs and then showing me again this is exponential graph uh, it's hardly to see what's happening so I can actually legend, turn the legend on I can add the grid on to again I don't need a grid I need um, different markers so in order to have different markers I'm gonna say use the first one use blue uh, circle for it for the next one use a green with star on it so and then for the s3 there's a comma here 
and for this 3x comma use give me s3x comma use again we use use a red use a red color and then do the plus in that okay it's going to put like some plus in there so save run this is actually how it looked like and the third one did not generate the first one it was blue oh, I put zero my bad I meant from zero I meant to put oh Oh my god I'm mixing O and zero there you go that's why I distinguish them they are in the same plot uh, I can have the X label as X so let's put X label as uh, X let's put the Y label as X X remember to put the mark there and then have the title as X sorry SX in exponent sure whatever is that okay so I have the legend on so this is actually I can have them in the same plot with all those distinguish on it so this is SX this is the name of the I can just zoom out a little bit so you can see it the next part of the question asks us to do them in different subplots so if you want to do it in different subplots you have to again I'm going to create a new figure anyway in the new figure I'm going to start doing the subplot. So I'm going to copy this and start doing the subplots. So plot this. About this, you can say subplot. So in the subplot, I want to have, like, um, again, if I want to have them, like, the question asks me to put three in a row, right? So I'm looking for three of them on the x-axis in the row one in the column and this is going to be the first graph so the first graph is for sx let's remove again you can keep this stuff in there too that's the first one right and then do another subplot Again, we want to have them on the same row, so meaning that this is going to be the second one. Remember, three, in this case, I have three rows and one column, so I put everything in a column. If you change the arrangement, you can actually make them in. So, plot 3x in this manner. And the second one and then let's go to the next one so subplot three and one and this is the third graph and the last one is okay let's try this to see what I'm doing Okay, so it generated this. When it got to the subplot, I put subplot. That's good, actually. Subplot. Where does this subplot is? Subplot down here. And run. So the last one, you can see all three of them are in the same column because I put three and one. So if I want to have them in, like again, in the, in, the, in the same row, so I can just copy this down here, I just need to change a little bit. So the thing I change is that instead of having three and one, this time I have one and three. So they are in one row and three columns. One row and three columns. One row and... 
three columns. So save and run. There you go. I have them in three different separate charts. I have them like this and I have them like that.